what's up y'all how y'all doing welcome back it's shay here at healing to go to roll if you're new welcome if you're returning thanks for your support keep in mind this is a general reading so all messages may or may not um correlate with your story don't make anything fit that doesn't if you like the video, make sure you show your support by giving it the thumbs up button. If you love it, subscribe. Feel free to comment. Um, I'm going to do a reading on what's going on in the collect with the collective in their love life. So, I'm going to pull an overall energy card. See what's going on. connection intuitively I feel that maybe some of you guys are connecting with your spirit guides and praying to them and asking them to see you someone who brings you a peace of mind who fits you. I'm going to read from the guidebook what this means. And then we can get started. Spirit connection. Spirit connection. High in the mountains, droplets of water fall from the morning dew of the trees and meet together to begin to, begin to form a trickle. The trickle travels downstream and then and is joined by more trickles slowly forming a creek as the creek menders it its way through the mountains it gains momentum and high on the edge of the valley it flows over the waterfall and lands in the valley below in the valley the water makes its way out of the trublet foam and froth and drifts into a settling pool below here it rests for a moment before the water begins and new, a new journey towards the valley floor where it meets another river. The two small rivers gently join together and creating a river that is made up of many individual droplets of water. This new creation will sustain great numbers of people, animals, and plants and becomes the sustenance and spirit of man, giving life to our souls and replenishing the spirit of all mankind. The dream time message of this card is two are often better than one. Joining forces with someone else, whether it's a new partner, a friend, or a work colleague, you will find yourself in a partnership that is strong and enriching. This new relationship will take you beyond what you dare to dream. Wow. So like I was saying, um, when it comes to your love life, maybe you'll be soon meeting someone who, like I was saying, bring you a peace of mind, who you can connect with. And then I have temperance at the bottom of the deck. And temperance does mean um, having two things or two people or two whatever come together. Okay, spirit. What's going on, guys? Okay, Spirit. Who 
is this person that my collective may be interested in or that's coming towards my collective? Who's coming towards the collective spirit? someone who uses their willpower to accomplish their goals they have heightened intuition they usually go on journeys um, on their own and in a love reading the chariot can represent someone who is working on self mastery working on themselves and building themselves. So currently, this person may be working on themselves or maybe you working on yourself so that way you can track a, vib a vibrational match. And then I have the Hierophant. The Hierophant represents tradition it could represent um, spiritual guidance. I feel like whoever this person is, you guys are going to be equally yoked. And I say that because in the chariot car, I have the yin and yang. Well, the two sphinx, but they represent it reminds me of yin and yang because of the black and white and the balance. And then in the Hierophant, I have two people down here. On each side of each pillar in this um, card. And it could represent marriage because the Hierophant represents the third pillar, which um, balances everything. And the Hierophant could also be a priest or someone who um, um, marries people like a judge or a, um, what them people call it? That be in a um, church when you get married in church? You know, I think the pastor, yeah. Him. And then I have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to take it. So the four of wands could also represent marriage, coming together of some sort. It can represent um, two people coming together, um, joining families together. Maybe this person who you may meet soon or you already know is highly expected in the community. Very helpful, the type of person that gives to charity. Also, the, uh, the card number five. Five represents change or being halfway through a cycle. So, whoever this person is that's working on themselves, they are halfway there. And then I have the six of wands. So, the six of wands could represent, it represents awareness being recognized confidence right now I'm feeling like um, the energy of forward movement it may be some people in your energy or this person's energy that may not appreciate or like y'all together 
Like, I don't know why I'm feeling like a story of someone who may be a bit of a player. And kind of, I wouldn't say he's a player or she, but they come off as a player because this is the type of person who is looking for the one, I would say. So, they kind of just, I mean, I'm feeling the energy of somebody who's pretty up, up front with how they feel about certain situations that they get themselves in. But they are picky about who they want to be in a relationship. So it's like for them to choose you, a lot of people or people who are interested in them is going to see y'all together or see this person put you on a pedestal and they ain't going to like it at all. But who gives a fuck? If he ain't for you, she ain't for you, they just ain't for you. Go find your match. And I feel like this is going to be a very balanced relationship because I have the four here and the four wands here. And it reminds me of 1111. And that's like twin flames. And then also, too, if you guys notice, this is a four and this is a six. But if you look at the normal, uh, the. The numbers on the card, it almost looks like a, a mirror image or a split image, like because the four is like the eyes and the eye in the front and the V in the front and then the V in the eye. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. The six of ones could also represent awards, recognition. self-awareness and then I have six ones and four ones that equals ten ones so you could be coming out of um, um, a cycle of repeated karmic situations that maybe were very sexually motivated or just like fun and flirty may have I don't know why I'm here mistress maybe some of you guys are coming out of a situation where you were a mistress a mistress and you found out and you kind of just grounded yourself and focused on you and what you really want so instead of being a mistress or a side bitch or I'm sorry a side piece <laughs> it was like fuck that and then, like I was saying, I got the Five of Swords here. So it's like some of you guys may have been um, coming out of a situation where um, there was some lies, hidden truths. You may have had to cut somebody off, a cut, a cut, a, a couple people off. And then I got this five here again. So I got two fives. You definitely had to cut somebody off. Cause it's like, whoever this person is, it's almost like they didn't see you. You were trying to make them see your worth, but they didn't see it. And even if they did, they was playing around in the background, fiddling and faddling. And if you was a mistress, it's because they had a whole family. Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands could represent observation. It could represent questions like why? Like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? And the Page of Wands could represent like a flirty passionate message or someone who's eager to do something that they're passionate about so maybe you were eager to build a life with this person but there were some things going on in the background that made you question what the situation 
the situation was or maybe you went to this person questioning this person like what is this and they kind of turn they back on you like uh, i'm not trying to deal with that right now and then he got a wand in his hand so it kind of reminds me of sex like whatever relationship you guys had was very passionate and then i have the two of ones at the bottom of the deck so it's almost like you have a choice to make like were you going to choose you and what you wanted to create in the world and what you had or were you going to turn your back And turn your back on whatever this was that was holding you back. Let's see. What else you got, Spirit? The Nine of Pentacles. So, whoever it is that I'm talking to, definitely has been on a journey of building themselves nines represent coming to um, an end of a cycle and it may have been a cycle of unhealthy habits of getting in relationships with people and situationships with people that were just sexually motivated so you you reverse that energy and put it all into yourself so that way you can build this luxury life almost building you using your spirit guides and your angels to help guide you because she has a falcon Holding the falcon. And the birds are messengers. And they also can represent spirit guides. Or guidance. And I'm also hearing using you like. Merging the two. I don't know why I'm feeling like. Um, I'm hearing like merging your masculine and feminine energies. And building yourself up using logic over emotion. And then I have the death card and the seven of swords. The death card represents a transformation. It can represent ending a new cycle. I mean, ending the old cycle and walking into a new one. Death, when you get the death card in a reading, it's not always, it's not something bad because obviously, even though things are dying, you can obviously tell that there are new beginnings on the horizon because you got the sun in the back and when the sun come out it shines it helps grow it keeps life going and then the seven of swords could represent someone with malicious intent a thief, a liar, someone who's very deceptive. And it's crossing this five of swords, which gave me the same energy earlier. So maybe you're ending a cycle of running into those type of people in situations, in third party situations. I 
I feel more like this reading is for those out there who's really self-loving, paying attention to themselves because of some cycles that they probably just recently came out of. Almost like dying and being rebirthed. Well, guys, hopefully that resonated with someone. Again, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your patience with me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.